So like a lot of people my age, I grew up playing Pokemon, right? Dude, I love Pokemon. Like one of my favorite game franchises of all time. And that, what's that black line? What are you, what are you doing? What, what the hell is that? That was weird. Anyway, yeah, grew up playing Pokemon. Black line's back. We're going to deal with it. Um, <laughs> today, I'm going to mesh Pokemon and Minecraft. And not like in the traditional way of uh, Pixelmon or whatever. We're going to build Pallet Town in Minecraft. I figured it was a good place to start. The first town you load into in Kanto in the Gen 1 Pokemon games, figured it was fitting to begin there. Maybe we can expand and build more of Kanto. Maybe we can build other like starter towns in other Pokemon generations. I don't exactly know just yet, but I want to start with Pallet Town. Figured it was a good place to begin. It's really also not that big, so this shouldn't be a huge project, but I am looking forward to starting this because I actually think this could be uh, very fun. Before I forget any longer, I gotta name some things after viewers. So Kevin Pack, my man Kevin Pack, wanted to be named this fox. So I hope I can click on the fox and not a sheep. There we go. Oh, he actually has a piece of wool in his mouth. That's adorable. So we got Pac-Man the fox now. That guy Will said he wanted to be named a villager. So let's go ahead and name him a librarian. So you're right there. I can't really see your name, but this is you. You sell Thorin's books. So that's a great profession to have, I guess. Jay asked to be a villager, but specified a librarian. So let's go ahead and make him the mending villager actually this is not mending this is aqua affinity i keep getting them mixed up but we have an aqua affinity villager named jay now who also sells us all these beautiful name tags now my man carlton wants to be a cleric and i don't have any clerics just yet but i did go ahead and make the name tag so uh maybe i put this in like an item frame or something to remind myself to actually name a villager carlton i don't know but william strang wanted to be a fletcher let's go name a fletcher after good old william you can be this guy looking fantastic over there so yeah the only one left is carlton i'm gonna go get an item frame and put this name tag on it and i'm really hoping i remember to get a cleric villager later so for now carlton is just an item frame on the wall but you will eventually become a villager i promise okay if i keep forgetting please just remind me i really don't mind if you if you just have to comment on a lot of videos to remind me um, that will definitely be helpful, but I guess we can show off what we did last time. Um, I'm actually in the building We built a new storage building And I think it actually looks really nice from the outside. Let's take a quick fly around. I think it actually came along super well We based this off of like a design from mythical sausage And I think it looks super nice. It's a little different. We use some different materials some different decoration and stuff like that. I think it's like a slightly different shape, but you know, for the most part, very much inspired from a mythical sausage build. You can never go wrong with that. Mythical sausage, a fantastic Minecraft builder. And then the inside is uh, just my own design. I didn't look at any interiors for uh, storage rooms. I didn't even look at his interior for his storage room. I don't know if this is similar at all, but we have our own little design in here. We have a nice fog like effect on the floor. We have an ender chest now, finally, with absolutely nothing in it. We have the dragon egg, which I definitely have to remember not to click on because it'll teleport to somewhere, I think. Beautiful dragon head with some armor on an armor stand. And then, you know, obviously all the storage and this spore blossom, which I think actually emits a great particle in this whole area. I really like spore blossoms. They're really cool. But let's start considering the build for this episode. So we're going to have to go and collect some materials. I do have quite a bit of stuff. I don't know why I ran away from my storage room, because that's where I'm actually meant to be right now. But I do have quite a bit of stuff in the storage room, but I don't believe I'm going to have everything for this entire build. Because just to start, I think the lab I want to make out of endstone. And maybe some combination of blocks there, but mainly endstone. The image I'm using to reference for this build is this one I just found on Google. Uh, it's from DeviantArt. I don't know how DeviantArt works. I don't know if you upload it yourself, if you have accounts or whatever. But when I click on the image, it's it's by this, this account called Alucus, A-L-U-C-U-S, I don't know exactly. But anyway, that's the image I'm gonna use because I just like the shape of the houses in this one. I think this is the heart gold and soul silver version of Pallet Town. And I kind of just like what everything looks like here. We might make the lab look a little different, but this is at least a good start to like figure out what kind of materials I should go ahead and gather. So it looks like we're gonna need some stone because like the houses mainly look like they're out of like a gray block. So I'm thinking some kind of stone in there. Maybe some stone brick and some stone and some like other variants of stone brick kind of mesh together. Uh, the roof is like a red orange. So I have an option there. I can go with like acacia wood, or if I want to go the more red route, I could go like crimson wood, but this looks more orange to me than red. So I think acacia might be the way to go, or we could use copper. Maybe we can get like a nice copper gradient going with the different forms of it. That could actually be pretty sick. We would just need some honey, which isn't a big deal. Then the door can probably be an acacia door. That looks pretty orange on both uh, of the houses here. 
windows look like they can be like blue stained glass or something like that that shouldn't be too difficult and then the lab i think the lab is going to be made out of end stone and stone I think is a really cool block that I don't normally get to use so I think that fits it pretty well blue stained glass looks good the roof probably out of like stone and then the front door is supposed to be green maybe we use some like warped wood or something like that because I think that's like the closest I can get so all these blocks are very attainable uh, we just have to go ahead and do that um I don't have that much copper so I'm thinking we should actually work on that yeah so I actually end up using acacia wood and not copper for the roof um, so yeah, th there's no point in me showing you myself gathering a bunch of copper. So let's just go to the next stuff. Now I'm going to go ahead and fly to the end and just grab a whole bunch of end stone. I also really need to like work on flying in the nether and stuff like that, like getting on the nether roof. It, like, you know, the stronghold's not far away, but it is pretty annoying to have to fly to it all the time. If I was in the nether, it'd be a lot faster. And another thing I actually might use is birch wood yeah i never use birch wood yeah once once again i uh gathered a lot of a material that i didn't end up using never use this birch wood why would i it's birch wood it sucks yeah anyway um i dropped my pickaxe though at one point and i flew away and didn't realize i dropped it until a little while later so that was fun wait hang on did i drop my pickaxe oh no did i drop my pickaxe Please don't tell me I did. I might have when I was trying to fly away. Oh no. No, please don't tell me I lost Bean Man. That's a great pickaxe. I don't wanna have to go get more netherite. Oh my God, I did drop it, but I found it. Oh, thank God. If I lost Bean Man, I don't know, man. The, the world might've been over. Might've just offed myself. That would've been so sad. <laughs> but let's go ahead and collect a whole bunch of end stone. We have a little over eight stacks of end stone. So I feel like that's enough. I don't think this build is going to be that massive, but if I have to come back, it's not that far away. As long as I don't drop bean man again, <laughs> we'll be good. I just noticed this earlier as well. Um, two of my villagers have been turned into zombies. A zombie got in here somehow then, which is interesting. Um, I would love to be able to cure both these guys with one potion, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Wait, did that actually work? Nice, it did work. I'm pretty sure this one sells me golden carrots as well, so that'll make them even cheaper. Beautiful. Yeah, so for like the last 20 minutes, I've been recording, but my audio was not recording for some reason, but the uh, video at least was. So I should still have the video of me getting all the stone, so I can still throw that in the video. But we have a ton of stone now that we're gonna need for this build. And also I'm in the nether flying around because I just need a warped door for this build. And I hope that's all the warped wood we need because I don't really want to come back here. This is actually like annoyingly far away from my nether portal. And I don't even completely remember the direction to go. I'm just kind of flying around and hoping it works out. So in honor of this phase bone block formation, we're going to trick shot this ghast. That was amazing. It was the coolest thing I've ever done. Anyway, let's head home. I do need one more thing, I think, and it's some acacia wood. And I don't believe I found an acacia biome yet. So let's fly around a little bit. And actually, let me let me take a bunch of rockets because we might be flying around for a little while. I also still need to find an area to put this town. And actually, the more I think about it, directly here to my right could be perfect for this town. It's really close to us, so I really don't have to go back too far if I forgot any materials or anything like that. I think this is actually perfect. I just wanted to have like an oak forest biome with water somewhere near it because obviously Pallet Town leads into an ocean at the south portion of it. So this could be the south portion. We could build the rest facing this way. I actually really like that. So I think we're going to set up shop here. I still need to find an acacia biome though. And we found an acacia biome right over here. This really is not that far away. So that's beautiful and a village. Nice. I don't really need that right now. Actually, I could use that because I just need the acacia doors. And now with the doors, we should be good to really start building this thing. And I think this is the area that I pointed out before. So let's clear out a pretty large area. We'll probably have to terraform some of this stuff to make it flat and then re-terraform it later once I figure out where the buildings are going to go. But let's just chop down a whole bunch of wood. And let me also place down my shulkers. We have a ton of space here now. I cleared out a lot of trees. So I feel like this should be a big enough area for this build. I mean, if not, we can always expand in pretty much any direction. The landscape has some holes in it, so we definitely should go ahead and fix those. So let me go back and grab a bunch of dirt. We have a ton of dirt now. As you can see by this chest, we have a bunch of dirt and a bunch of grass. 
So I'm gonna go through just filling in a bunch of these holes and just making the area look all around better. We placed down a lot of dirt and I like this landscape a lot more. This gives us a ton of room to build now. So I think it's a good idea to go ahead and lay out where both of the houses are going to go and then where the lab is going to go. I'm gonna begin with the two houses at the north part of Pallet Town. Also, I think I'm gonna put my own spin on like the layout of Pallet Town. It's not going to be as boxy as it is in the games. I think I'm gonna like round off the edges of the forest and we're also gonna place the houses in like different areas and they're not gonna be like as symmetrically placed, if that makes sense. We're gonna have one of them like off center. The path isn't going to be completely straight. You'll kind of see the vibe I'm gonna go for. But I think this is a pretty good area to put like the back side of one of the houses. All right, so right here, we have a nice rectangle, which I think is actually a pretty good size for one of these buildings. And now let's outline the second house, which I think is going to be over here, a bit down the slope, but I think that'll look really nice. Okay, so right there we have both of the houses. I also might not make them the exact same dimensions when I start building, but at least for the plot, this works out. And then the lab, I think I'll throw that like right here where I'm looking right now. So let's grab the sandstone or the endstone, sorry, and let's plot out the lab, which I think also means we're gonna have to move our little setup area, but that's not a big deal. I think I might move this one back, but other than that, I don't mind it. I think I like the sizes of everything at least. All right, yeah, I think the layout is finalized now. So up next, we actually have to start building these things. And I think I'm gonna start with this house back here. I've been throwing down some blocks. I really haven't done all that much just yet, but we have some stone brick pillars in on the corners of this house. And also I've kind of like outlined where the second floor is going to go. It's gonna come out one block because it kind of looks like there's something funky going on, at least on the image here. So I think we're just gonna kind of rock with this. All right, and then that's what the walls are going to look like. I don't mind it too much. This side is gonna be pretty flat, but hopefully we can throw some stuff here to design it a little bit better. Um, but actually helping out right now, let's throw in some windows. I feel like the windows on the left and the right sides would be pretty symmetrical just based on the front of the build and like the structure of the rest of the build because the picture I'm looking at I can't see the sides so we're just gonna throw two windows right here two two by two windows right there the back will probably do the same thing we're just gonna throw windows all around this place yeah that looks good I think that looks like a pretty good size for the roof and honestly I'm looking at this now and part of me thinks I should use acacia wood instead which isn't really a big deal because I don't have to wait for honey anymore. I'm gonna leave that honey farm there, I guess. I mean, there's no harm in it. And maybe we'll use this copper somewhere else. So I gotta go gather a whole bunch of acacia wood, but that shouldn't take too long. I got just over two stacks of acacia logs, and we also have um, 12 acacia saplings. That should be good. I made some of the wood into acacia stairs. We have two stacks, but let's just put all these stairs down. I just wanna see what this is going to look like. All right, that doesn't look too bad, actually. That's a pretty good looking roof, according to the picture. So I'm perfectly fine with that. So let's just throw down a lot more of the roof then, and then we can figure out what like the windows on the roof are going to look like. All right, it's definitely not the time for this, boys. I'm trying to catch them all. All right, just, just leave, me, leave me alone. Damn, they really did their homie dirty. They left this dude behind. That's low even for them. Okay, I think this roof actually looks kind of good. I think it's a pretty decent copy of, of what the roof looks like on the picture, so I will take that. Now, I don't know if I can fit in all the windows on the second floor here. I mean, I'll try. There are three windows in the picture at the top here, but I definitely don't think I can really do that. Now, let me actually throw in the windows so we can see what that's gonna look like. This might look really weird, at least in Minecraft, because I'm gonna use like blue stained glass. With all this stuff, I don't really think that's gonna look that good. I'm also gonna throw some stone stairs and some cobblestone stairs for the windows here, just to give it a bit more depth. So like, bada boom, and there's a window. That does not look good in Minecraft, like at all. Okay, um, does this look great? I'd say no. <laughs> I think it's just the windows. I don't really mind the acacia and all the stone and stuff like that. I think that looks fine. The blue windows just don't really look that good. But it at least looks accurate to the photo, so I'll definitely take that. And let me actually do this too. There, a little bit of depth. I might throw like a little like overhang over this. This isn't actually in the picture, but I feel like it looks a little bit better. And if I had some chains, I'd throw them down there, but I don't have any chains on me. Maybe I'll remember to do that at the end. But that'll be the door. And now we just have to do the other side here. And also throw in the windows up top. I forgot about these. Also, I'm gonna add something else to the build that actually isn't in the picture. There's no window shutters, 
but I think that'll make this build look a good bit better. I also got rid of a little overhang around the door because I want to throw some trap doors there and there and there and there. I don't really know how much that helps, but we're going to keep it. I'm going to design the rest of the building, like the outside of the building, how I have been with like all the buildings so far on this world. Just going to throw some leaves around and maybe some barrels and stuff like that. Hopefully this helps a little bit, make it look better. And now I know there's not leaves actually in the picture or anything like that, but it could help. Maybe Pallet Town's been unoccupied for a while. That's why there's so many like vines and leaves growing and stuff like that. All right, I think that helped make it look a little bit better. So I guess I don't completely hate it. It really is just the windows. I'm gonna build up this exact building over here. I'm not gonna show it again. I don't even think I'm gonna time lapse it because you literally just saw me build this one. So let's build this one up now. So as you can see, I put together the second house here. And also I changed out all the windows. I made them just regular glass. I really did not like the blue glass after looking at it for longer. It just doesn't look good in this game. So I'm just gonna use like the regular glass panes. I think that looks a lot nicer. But now it's time to build up the lab. That's where this whole shulker box is gonna come into play. We have a bunch of end stone and we have a bunch of birch logs. I'm gonna make all the end stone into end stone bricks. That looks just a lot better. And now we can start laying these out on the corners. And we're gonna bring this lab up, I'm thinking maybe like six. I do want a good amount of space in here, so I'm good with bringing that up about six. Let's bring this all around and then see what it looks like. Yeah, I think that's a really good size here for the lab. Very much content with that. And now we're gonna work some birch in here too. I was originally going to do stripped birch, but I don't think I like that. So let's try some birch planks instead. And yeah, I definitely don't like that. So maybe we just break in some regular end stone instead? Yeah, I think that might be the pattern we go with. All right, we got all the walls in. Doesn't look too shabby in here. And the door to this is actually in the middle. And I accidentally made this one block too long. So let's take down this whole wall and move it over. This might look weird in Minecraft, but it kind of looks like the roof has like a border like this on it. Yeah, it looks like it's kind of coming off the build like that. But I'm thinking maybe we can like slab right under the stairs. That could give an interesting effect. Yeah, something like that. That's actually exactly what I wanted. That looks pretty good for the roof, I think. And then actually up here on the roof, we can put in stone bricks everywhere. And then we need like the chimney up here, which I'm going to make out of granite. I was thinking about making this out of copper, but it looks a bit more red to me than it does orange. So we're gonna do this out of like regular granite and polished granite. We'll just kind of put them together. This is always a good combination of blocks. I could also throw bricks in this if I wanted to, but I think I'm just gonna stick with the granite. I think that looks okay. Kind of looks like the picture. I will take it. All right, definitely looks solid enough to me. Now we just have to decorate the rest of the exterior of this. I think I'll do this for the windows. Also, I'm forgetting a stair right there. Beautiful. But yeah, I think I'm going to do this for the windows. Looks pretty cool, in my opinion. I just don't really think this build's going to turn out the best. I like the houses a lot more. But who knows, maybe once I put like the leaves on and stuff like that, it'll look a lot better. All right, the leaves are definitely helping. That doesn't look too bad, actually. Let's do that all the way around. That might look okay. I actually really like the acacia wood right there, too. Because, I mean, even on the picture, it looks like there is a little bit of red or orange or something above the window. So this actually kind of fits. And I think it actually helps a little bit. Um, we can definitely throw some like window shutters on this and I think I'm gonna use acacia again yeah okay that's coming along a bit more I think that's going to be the final design for the front face and then we'll just replicate this all the way around all right I don't think this looks that bad I didn't really like it too much as I was constructing it but now that it's finished I think it looks okay it fits for a lab I think up next is to do the rest of like the decoration on the outside of everything so like the pathway the flowers and stuff like that and figure out the tree line all that fun stuff so let's clear the inventory and then start figuring that out so let's just line out where the path is going to go obviously it'll connect to this house here it's not going to be perfectly straight obviously like it is in the image because um, the houses aren't aligned properly for that so the path will come over there and then it'll round this way so i'm just gonna lay out this entire path and then i will be back once that's done all right we got the path all laid out right so it kind of just goes around in a bunch of different directions i'm gonna throw stuff where all the grass is like put some bone meal there plant a couple flowers do all that fun stuff and also throw down some fences i actually figured out where i can use all the birch wood now 
We can use that with the fences. It's also where we can put a bunch of lanterns and stuff like that. It'll look pretty nice. All right, we got a ton of fences around now. And let's go ahead and plant a small flower field like right here. Yeah, I like the look of that quite a bit. And then I think we can go ahead and just bone meal a lot of the rest. All right, so pretty much everything now is nice and bone mealed. I also want to go ahead and add some slabs. Let's do that with oak. Add some oak slabs to the path so you can get up and down easily in the different elevations here. I think that's all good now. We got some oak slabs everywhere where I think I need them. Next up, let's run around and throw some lanterns all around the place. All right, we're actually really close to being finished, I think. This area is looking pretty cool. I'm gonna go around and bone meal a whole bunch of trees around the outside here because obviously this is supposed to be surrounded by a pretty big forest. I do need to go grab a whole bunch more bone meal, but we're getting there. That is a really cursed tree. Okay, it loaded in. That scared me for a second. All right, yeah, so I just planted a whole bunch of trees around the outside to kind of make it look like there's a, there's a pretty dense forest around. In some spots, you can kind of see through the forest a little bit, but I think the illusion is still pretty good. And I think with that, we're actually done with this build. I might do the interiors of these some other time. I was just looking at pictures of the interiors of everything and I just don't really know how I'm gonna do some of the things. Like some of the block colors, I don't really feel like I have in this game. Um, there's a lot more room on the inside of the buildings on the game than I have in here because obviously they can just render in whatever they want on the inside. So I don't know if I can make those super accurately, but maybe I can just do like a basic interior of all these builds down the line. Uh, the interiors don't matter all that much because these buildings aren't actually going to be used. I kind of just did this as a fun little project. So let's go ahead and turn on the shaders. I also got some mixed opinions on what shader I should be using. So I'm just going to use the previous shader at least for this walkthrough, because I feel like there's a lot of vegetation around and I feel like I like what it looks like when everything is wiggling and blowing in the breeze and stuff like that. So let's take a walkthrough of my version of Pallet Town in Minecraft. I think this actually came out pretty well. We got this nice sign here now that just says, Welcome to Pallet Town. It's lovely. It's beautiful. I'll take you guys through like the entire path we built. Yeah, like I said, I tried to make it look like there's a nice dense forest around here. It was difficult to do in some cases, but I think I did at least a decent job. Maybe I can actually load up some villagers in this area. Have one be Professor Oak or something like that. Or maybe you can be Professor Oak, Mr. Skeleton. Do you want to not do that? Professor Oak would never shoot me with a bow. So maybe you can't be. Anyway, <laughs> back to looking around here. I'm actually pretty happy with what the houses look like. Honestly, I think they look pretty solid. I think it's actually a pretty decent like adaptation into Minecraft. The lab was a bit funky. After I put all the decorations around, I liked it a lot more. But yeah, there's my version of Pallet Town in Minecraft. I was actually about to end the video, but before I do that, let me take a flyer around. So let's head off in this direction and then swoop de swap back. And look at that. Nice little Pallet Town. It actually looks kind of sick from the sky. I think this will make for a pretty decent thumbnail. I'm kind of proud of this build. Really didn't think I was going to be able to do it that well. But it turned out a lot better than I expected. Anyway, though, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know of any other builds you'd like me to do. Maybe from video games or from other things. I don't really know. As long as they're not absolutely colossal, maybe I can give them a try. But thanks one more time for watching. Really hope you enjoyed. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.